Hello, my name is Howard Milano and today I'm going to show you a practical application of hinge movement in FreeCAD and I'll show you in an assembly for animation what I mean. So basically the folding of a box, resting it and unfolding it again, all using the hinge movement, the basics of hinge movement. All right, let's do this in FreeCAD. So I have an assembly with several parts the base with the local coordinate system right in the middle on top a side that we use several times with the local coordinate system on top on the, in the middle of the edge there and another side that has two local coordinate systems all right then we have an assembly with an origin we have a variable count to make things go in the animation and several local coordinate systems to hook thing, uh, the sides up. Let's first hook the base up. So in the assembly, so we're going to hook up the base and we're going to hook it up to the origin. All right, now I'll show you. So there is the other local coordinate system that we're going to hook up the side to. And this side we're also going to hook up the top. So for the base 2, we want to use the side 2 one. And we're going to use this one in the parent assembly at base 2. And we're going to rotate it. And there you go. And now we're going to hook up the top over there. So in the assembly, we're going to hook up with side 1 and we're going to not hook it up to the parent assembly but this other one and we're going to hook it up to the top. Alright, now we want to make those sides rotate and we do that by changing the local coordinate systems. When we hide this you can see it. you want to rotate it over the Y there and when you hide this one, you want to rotate this one over the X. So let's show them again. So the base, we're going to rotate it over the Y. And you're going to use a formula very uh, dependent on count. So it basically goes from 0 to 90, it's count. From 90 to 120, it's 90. And then from 120 to 210, it is, uh, you count from 90 down to 0. And for all the other L, uh, local coordinate systems, I'm going to use the same or a similar formula. So how do we make this one rotate? To, uh, by default, this one moves with this one, but we want to rotate it even more. So it flips all the way over to become the top. And you do that by modifying this local coordinate system and this one goes over the x and it is actually the same formula again and I'll show you what it looks like so we have count 0 to 210 so this top one goes twice as fast than this other one very nice. Now it's just a matter of hooking up the other sides. So let's we just use site one from now on. We can all use the same uh, site one in the parent assembly. Let's hook it up to base one and we're gonna rotate it a little bit. There we go. In the assembly, we're going to use site 1 again. Parent assembly, base 3, and that looks good. And parent assembly, site 1. Parent assembly, base 4. And we want to rotate that one there 
and all of these rotate around a certain axis with uh, pretty much the same or a slightly different formula. I'll show you one more on base 4. So it rotates over the x-axis and it uses this one uses the, the, the negative uh, variation. So from 0 to 90 it is minus the count. So it counts from 0 down to minus 90. Then it stays at minus 90 and then it goes back, counts back up from minus 90 to 0. So let's try it out. So there you go. Folding and unfolding of a box using hinge movement in FreeCAD Assembly 4. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.